How is it going, everybody? You're watching the Nobel Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to organize your photos and videos on your iPhone. So I'm going to show you how you can create custom albums, folders, how you can tag people, location, and of course, even use the search tool, which is an AI feature built in that most people don't even know it exists. So I'm going to show you how to organize everything here on your Photos app and use to its fullest. It's super cool, super easy, and I bet you're gonna love it. Let's go. So most people use the Photos app just as a photo library. So they take photos and videos and all those files stack up over the course of months and years and many, many years, and they end up looking like this, a bunch of files, separated chronologically and that's it and so when they need to actually get a photo or a video from months or years ago they actually go ahead and look for that file manually because it's not organized right so let me show you how we can organize all that and make it smart as you can see we have four big categories here so the library for you albums and search let's go ahead and take a look at albums which is the page i showed you a few minutes ago in the intro as you can see i have deleted the other albums and folders that i had just to show you from the top from the beginning presuming that's how it looks on your iphone because those are the two standard albums that we have the default albums recents which is the exact same thing we we're looking at when we we're looking at the library right here okay so it's just all your photos and videos and when we come back, we also have favorites. So those are the two standard albums. And the thing is, a lot of people don't know how to use the favorites. And I really love it because, of course, you can set special photos, special moments as your favorites. So if you don't know how to use it, it's super simple. You can grab any photo or any video, for example, this one right here, absolutely anything. And there will always be this little heart right here at the bottom. As you tap on the heart, this becomes a favorite. And then that's it. And as you come to albums, favorites, as you can see, it's right there. If you don't want it to be a favorite anymore, tap on the heart once again. It's not favorite anymore. It goes away and now it's back to normal. Okay, so recents and favorites, those are your standard two albums on every iPhone and you can't even delete them. Okay, they're there and they'll stay there. But how about if you want to create new albums? It's super easy. All you have to do is tap on the plus right here and we have two options, new album and new folder. So a new album is one collection of photos and videos. And a new folder is a group of albums, each one of them with photos and videos, okay? So a folder is a bunch of albums, all right? So let's create a new album first. And then as you can see, it's gonna ask for the name and we can go ahead and use any name I'm gonna pick YouTube, all right? So YouTube right here, save, and I have just created this new album. I can add any photo, any video from my whole library right here. You can pick as many as you like, okay? So we can go ahead and select this one just to make it easy, tap on add, and then that's it. I have new album with, of course, one file inside. Uh, if I come back, now I have recent favorites and my new album, YouTube. Of course, I can tap on plus and create a new folder. And as I said, a folder is a collection of albums. So let's say uh, the folder, I want to call it content. So it's a larger thing, right? Content is a bigger thing. And then I can save. And then I have now my folder. And as you can see, it's empty, of course. And I can just tap on edit and plus and then I create, I can create an album inside that folder. So let's say I wanna put it as Instagram and then save. And then I can pick any other photo, for example, this one, add, and then done, come back. And as you can see, now I have three albums in a folder and then that's how it works. And of course, if you wanna delete it or rename it, just tap and hold. And of course you can rename delete and add photos because you can always add photos to your album and to your folder. And the idea of an album is pretty much creating a project. So something for work, uh, something for your personal life. Uh, so sometimes photos and videos that you don't wanna have uh, all together with all your photos mixed up, you can just put all of them in a specific folder so then you have everything organized so you know all of those photos from that specific event will be there okay so that's how it works now if we scroll down of course we have people in places and this is super interesting as well let's start with people 
the little bubbles as you can see right here and as you can see I have quite a lot of people and the thing is all of that is automatically created by the iPhone. The iPhone will automatically select faces and then it will group all the photos that have those faces. And that's automatic, as I said. And as you can see, some of my people right here already have names and some of them don't. And that's because the ones that already have a name, it's because I have manually selected the name. So I have manually put here Daniel for myself. But of course, we have others without names, like for example, this friend of mine called Gabriel. So if I tap here and I haven't done anything, all right, this is all automatic. The iPhone has grouped all of that, all of those photos with that person. Uh, I can add a name. So I can add a name to that face. I know it's Gabriel. So I can go ahead here and go Gabriel right there and then done. So then I know it's that person. And as you saw, it picks up from the contacts. So you're not just typing in a random name, you're actually tagging that person to a content of yours. So this is super cool. And as you can see here, we have all of the pictures and photos that that person is in, all right, right here. And then even to get even better, all of other people that are inside those photos. So this is super smart, okay? I like this a lot and where those photos were taken. So this is so, so cool. And as I said, this is done automatically. Your iPhone will group those photos, those faces, and it'll just do it all automatic. All you have to do is tap, type in a name, and that's pretty much it, okay? Coming back here, we have places. And places is super easy to understand as well. It's where your photos and videos were taken. And we have here uh, quite a bunch of them in Brazil and then New York and it just keeps going as you can see it's right there and this is all automatic as well if you actually go ahead here to places and you don't see photos uh you don't see locations that's because you don't have location allowed for camera so all you have to do is go ahead and tap on settings and then scroll down until privacy and security location services scroll down until camera and then enable while using the app precise location so with that when you take a photo or a video it'll be registered in the correct location okay on top of that on albums you even have media types so uh, you can see what are your types of files you have as your photos and videos for example of all of my photos 3,000 are videos okay so the rest are photos 3,000 are videos 2,000 are selfies uh, 6,000 are live photos, panorama, and, and so on. So as you can see right here, it's super easy as well, this organization, it's all automatic as well. So you can easily find a specific photo in a specific format because it's all separated, even uh, the screen recording, screenshots, and all of that. And even down below, we have duplicates in iOS 16 that a lot of people still don't know. So if you tap on duplicates, you can even see here your duplicates, and easily you can tap here on select, and you can either select all and delete. So you're gonna delete all of your photos and duplicates or merge. So then you're gonna delete one and keep the other. And this is another thing that not everyone knows. Now let's come back here and we're done on the albums. But remember that I talked about the search? That's right. So the more information you give to your iPhone, so location, people, and everything like that, as I showed you, the more you can get from this search. So for example, uh, you can go ahead here, tap on search, and then tap on a person, for example, Yasmin, which is my girlfriend, and then it'll automatically pick all photos and videos that the person is in. So 2000, almost 2400. Uh, but of course, this is not only for people, this is for locations as well. So New York, uh, you can go ahead here, and you have all the, the pictures that I took in New York. and it goes beyond that. For example, if I tap here dog, that's right, it'll get all the pictures from my dog because it recognizes dog using AI and then it'll get here. So this is automatic as well. And you can do for pretty much anything, objects. Uh, you can do for uh, car, uh, food, whatever you want. And even the search already gives you a lot of things that you can take a look. For example, what happened one year ago, last fall, dining, some people, places, categories, as you can see right here. So cat, vehicles, uh, art, it's absolutely insane. So you can use a lot here, the search, 
uh, to actually get exactly anything that you want from your Photos app. I use it all the time. And of course, we also have the For You tab, which follows the same concept. So uh, the more information you give the Photos app, the more it will give back to you. So for example, in this case, it's giving me memories from Fabio, which is my brother, over the years. So if I tap here, there will be a little video showing me and my brother uh, over the years, which is super, super cool. Uh, and this is created automatically. So pet friends, as you can see, New York, so the trip, golden hours, so photos and videos taken in the sunset. So this is super, super cool as well. And this is done automatic as well. So that's pretty much how you organize your photos and videos on your iPhone and how you master the Photos app. And I'll see you on the next video of Denival Tech. See you later, guys.